After you've chosen the firearm you want to conceal carry, one of the most important pieces of gear to hold that gun up is the belt itself. And today I'm gonna to show you why I think Core Essentials is the best gun belt out on the market. I'm gonna show you a variety of different ones that they actually make, the differences between them, which one I personally like the best. And I'm also gonna show you some of my older belts and how well they've held up over time. So if you like this video and you like what I do here from gun belts to conceal carry, rifles, pistols, all of that, consider subscribing. And of course, I wanna hear your opinion after the video. Let's go ahead and get into it. When you go to their website, you're gonna see inch and a half and inch and three quarter. Today, we're just covering the inch and a half EDC belts. If you need something more heavy duty or a competitive belt, that's where their inch and three quarter comes into play. I actually got a new video coming up here soon, and I've done a video already on the inch and three quarter garrison belts. So if you wanna check that out, I'll make sure I'll leave a link down in the description. So you have a variety of different options. You have their leather, you have their tactical, you have their multicam. Now, when you choose a leather belt, you're gonna have a couple different options. You have the full grain buffalo leather, and then you have the top grain leather. Both belts are made using two full length pieces of that leather of your choice, and they both have the power core on the inside. This is where the heart of the belt lies. It's not the most exciting feature, we'll talk about that here in a minute, but it is a fantastic feature, and this is what you need in order to hold up your gun. Now, the full grain is going to support up to six pounds of gear on your belt, while the top grain will hold up to four pounds. Now, either one of these is gonna work fine for you. If you have the top grain, you got your holster, you got your gun, you got your additional magazine with your carrier, you're gonna be just fine with the top grain. If you want a couple of additional pounds of support or you just like the way the buffalo leather looks better, go with that one. Now, all their leather belts are going to support up to a 44 inch waist, so from 24 to 44. And then they have XL versions which will fit up to a 54 inch waist. And by the way, Every single one of my close friends and almost every single one of my close friends' dads wears a Core Essentials. So I've gotten a lot of good feedback from people that I know on these things. And I, I want honesty when I ask people, hey, how do you really like this belt? And so that's why I want to show you some of the ones that I've used over a period of time and show you how well they've held up. So if you want something a little bit more rigid, you have the tactical belt. Now, one thing to consider, you may be thinking, well, man, I'm just gonna buy myself a $20 belt. But when you're carrying a firearm, what you don't want is the gun to sag. And with a traditional belt, uh, just a regular classic belt, those things are going to sag with the weight of a gun, no matter what you're really carrying. And what can happen is not only will the core of it actually just kind of crush under the weight, it can cause the gun to elbow out a little bit, and then it can also cause your pants to sag. So it's really uncomfortable. And most of those belts don't have what this belt has on the inside, which is the exciting feature about Core Essentials, which I'm about to show you. But if you decide to go with the tactical belt, just know that it's gonna hold up to 10 pounds. It's gonna be a little bit more rigid, but it's still flexible enough to actually wear every single day. So it is a really good design and a good balance. If you need something just a little bit more heavy duty for everyday carry, this is a good option. Now, when you go to size these things, they actually have a marker on the inside. The tactical belts will fit up to a 54 inch waist and they have XL versions, which go up to a 72 inch waist. So no matter what size person you are, you can own a Core Essentials and wear it every single day comfortably. So they have a sizing chart back here. What they recommend is finding your belt size. So if you're a, I'm a 36, I should go up to a 40. Normally I do like three inches cause I don't want, you know, too much sticking out from my other loop once I run it all the way through, but they recommend four inches. Either way, you just wanna make sure you have enough room. So maybe do four or five inches just to be sure and then you can cut back an inch at a time, but you definitely wanna cut it a little bit over what your actual pant size is. Now in the tactical versions, they actually send you a belt keeper because they are a little bit more rigid, so that will help to keep the belt snugly against your body. Now, the exciting feature about this is the inner track layer. So no more holes, no more having to improvise, make your own holes and all that crap. You, you, know, you ate a big dinner and now you're feeling a little more bloated and whatever, doesn't matter. You have a 10 inch track with quarter inch increments, so you can adjust this and fine tune it all throughout the day. 
after your lunch, in the morning, whatever, the buckles are designed to work perfectly with these. And they're not only easy to get on and easy to adjust, but it's easy to get the buckle off. And so I'll show you that here in a little bit. But this is the best design. And this is one of the reasons everybody I've told about these belts ends up buying them. Some of my closest friends and like I said, their dads wear these belts because of this feature right here. So we have our power core, which is gonna support the weight of our firearm and any of our gear that we're carrying. And then we have the inner track system. Then you have the buckles themselves. And so these work perfectly with all of the gun belts that they offer that are inch and a half. Won't work with the inch and three quarters. Those are a little bit different, but all your inch and a half belts, no matter if they're the tactical version or the leather version, they will work with their various buckles design. So no matter if it's inside the waistband, strong side carry, outside the waistband, or appendix carry, they have not only a belt, but a buckle to accommodate your carry style. You can go with like their X7 style, which is a little bit smaller, so you can actually get your gun and all your equipment on. They also have the X9, which is another great option for appendix carry. It's smaller and it's got a really classy look to it similar to my favorite buckle that they offer, which is the X3. Again, it has a classic look. It, it doesn't scream super tactical or anything like that, but it does the job. And what's hidden underneath is what matters. So it looks like just a standard belt when you look at it, you know, if you don't know any better, but then again, it's very far from being a standard belt. Now, one good thing about these is the lever design. It is not going to stick on you. They also have like nickel and stainless steel and all kinds of different options for the buckles. I won't get into that too much, but all of the designs are essentially the same. The lever underneath, which will allow you to move anywhere in that track you need. And then of course it has a notch that will lock into the track. So once you cut your belt about four inches longer than your actual size, you stick that end or stick the blunt end if you don't need to cut it at all into this side, those jaws are going to clamp shut. And then of course you have two set screws. Once you put those set screws in place with the jaws that are on here, or with the teeth that are on this clamp, it's never going to move on you. you. Never have to worry about it again. And it's probably one of the best designs I've ever used. Now they have a variety of different buckles and stuff that you can go with. One of my favorite, you know, just, kind of tactical versions is the don't tread on me. Uh, they also have American flags. They have a Western collection. So you can check all that stuff out, but it's the same premise. You have the same lever spring loaded, not going to stick. You have the row of teeth with the set screws right there. So how well have my older core essential belts held up? Let's look at those. So I want to look at one of my very first leather belts from them. This one is six years old. And as you can tell, it has seen some serious use. The spring tension on the buckle is still good. This is before they even use set screws and those teeth are not going anywhere. Like I said, the set screws are just for added security. I would definitely use them, but they are optional. So there's that. And then you can tell over time, you know, I've got some cracking and stuff like that, but functionally the belt is still there. The power core on the inside it's still firm, it's not buckling or anything like that. It hasn't come apart on me. After six years, man, I don't know that there's another belt that I've had that I wore this much <laughs> every single day and carried a firearm on it. And so I think overall, it is still very impressive, even with some of the cracks and stuff, because functionally, it still works just as intended. And so I really, am impressed with the overall quality and design. And that's why I really wanted to show you this because even though it's scratched up and all of the stuff we just talked about, it still functionally works like it's supposed to. By the way, they do have a one year warranty on them. Now this one I've been carrying for about a year and a half. This is another leather belt that I got from one of the brown leather ones with the don't tread on me buckle. And as you can see, it pretty much looks perfect. I mean, I have some scuff marks and stuff where the buckle goes through and then where I carry my gun mainly. Now they started offering these protective sleeves. They're like $4. You can put that in the position that you normally would keep your gun. So it'll protect your belt a little bit from getting all scratched up as you can see like mine has right there. But overall, again, it's such a fantastic design and it almost looks brand new besides the scuff marks from my gun.
Now, another one that I've worn a lot is my inch and a half tactical belt. This one has done an even better job. And these things being so freaking rugged with the interwoven layer and the outer layer and all of that, I mean, these things are tough. So it's it's gonna be pretty hard to tear these belts up. And they are uh, they hold up even better, I think, than the tactical belts. I've had this one for probably, mm, probably two years, maybe three years, not, not really sure. I wore this one a lot too, but ever since I got the brown leather one, that's the one I've been wearing every single day uh, since then. But again, lever, all of that in good shape. And I got a little bit of fraying on the end right here. I got a little bit of scuff marks on the buckle itself. I really like this buckle too, by the way. So why are these belts the best? Well, like everything we just talked about, man, they hold up really well over time. So you're not gonna be wasting your investment into a 30 or $40 belt that's just gonna tear up after a year. You can adjust them in quarter inch increments. You have the ability to obviously carry a gun up to 10 pounds, depending on which one you get. Even if you don't carry a gun that day for whatever reason, it's still a classy enough belt where you can wear it and it doesn't scream tactical depending on the buckle that you get. Which one do I like the best? I prefer the leather ones because anything up to four pounds or even six pounds with the Buffalo leather is plenty for what I do on an everyday basis, okay? So my carry gun, whether that's the Shield Plus, the Spectre Comp, spare magazine, normally I carry one in my pocket anyway, so I don't have that to worry about, so I'm well under the four pounds. And I just like how flexible they are. I can get them on and off a little bit easier, but again, even the tactical belt is really easy to work with. I just prefer the leather and I like the look of the leather too. That's my opinion on them, man. Core Essentials, if you're gonna buy a gun belt, buy the one that started the whole hidden track thing and the one that holds the patents to a lot of this stuff. I think they actually have 13 patents and like four trademarks all together. So these guys have come a long way and they make the best gun belt out there for the money. If you wanna get one of these, I actually have a discount code with them. I'll leave that down below so you can save yourself some money on it and tell them that I sent you if you decide to buy one. Big thanks to you guys, see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.